lights, camera, action. Wow. We got power here. I'm Megan and this is my husband, Bo, and our daughter, Beckett. Join us on our journey as we relocate our family to raw land in beautiful northeastern Washington. Watch as we start from scratch and build the life we desire. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So, I got a panel here. It's actually a three-phase panel. <clears throat> Found it cheap, used, before we throw it in here. But it doesn't have a neutral isolator. I'm talking with my buddy, I was, gonna, I was thinking about just running it through a fuse and he's like, that's not a good idea. So, I'm gonna put this neutral isolator here. We'll run the neutral up and around, land it on this, which is gonna be fun. <clears throat> Actually, I think I'll run, yeah, I'll probably put it here, run it up and around, land it, and then it'll come off the bottom of it into the house. I wanted to get all this ran before I messed with where this hole's gonna be. So, that's what we're doing. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever bought a good drill index. They're ridiculously priced. This drill index I've had for probably, I don't know, six years. It's like $400, but they're good bits. You should just drill it from the outside. Make my life mucho easier. So we went two inches in and seven and a half, ten three quarter. Go to my bolt kit, find some bolts for this guy. Make sure this lines up. If you guys like that, you can use it. Didn't patent that one, just made it up just now. today. A smart guy would have drilled the first one, stuck the thing up there, and make sure the second one lined up. But I didn't. Because I like to work hard, not smart. All right, there's that one. I don't know if I said this earlier, but this is a neutral isolator. <clears throat> so this metal block does not come in contact with the enclosure so that way it just allows the neutral current that's coming back on the back side of the alternating current to flow through not energize the panel this is a ground lug that will land here possibly if i can get that bend and it you know is not isolated so keeps the enclosure grounded everything's safe Safe, safe, safe. <laughs> it's not perfect, but I think I can make that work. Would you look at there? It actually worked. Got the ground lug. Got a goo. Got the baby on the goo. I haven't looked at this camera, so I have no idea what the hell you guys are looking at. All this footage might be junk. I wish I had some bolts that would work right there. It would be nice to get that baby done tonight. I'll try to run my neutral here, up, down. I'll run the ground. Maybe we'll try to run the ground over and then the two, two hot stuff. Let's cut that baby apart and see what she looks like. There's some new razor blades. I tell you to be careful, you know, not to <clears throat> nick the outer jacket of these wires. You know, if you 
come down like this and you cut this wire right here, excuse me, this jacket on the wire, and the wire is no good to that point. But always leave yourself plenty of extra room to work with this stuff. Order more than you need by far. It's amazing. I was actually, we were just down in Utah at a friend's house and he was gonna wire up his hot tub. And he's, he figured he would need 15 feet of cable. And he was only thinking of going, you know, across from his power panel over to where his hot tub dislocate or his hot tub disconnect is like this on the exterior of his house. But after you factor in, you got to come out of the panel, up, over, across the hall, down a little bit, over, out into the box and leave yourself enough room to work with. That 15 feet that we kind of roughly guessed actually needed 30. So do a little steining, I guess, or homework before you go and order a piece of wire cut and get home. It turns out you need a lot more than you thought you did. This stuff is tough. This is 4 aught. <clears throat> See right here. 4 aught aluminum uh ul or excuse me not ul xl pe is the cable type i believe but it's for direct berry my other one was phased but it actually says direct barrel right there but the other cable was phased which i'm not seeing a phase on this one let's keep reading dl7 which to be honest I didn't even look at them before because the other one was phased and I figured this would be phased as well. Which is what I'm talking about is, see how all these look the same? Like if you're dealing with Romex or something in your house, you'll have a white one, a black one, and a copper one. Well, these all look the same. So you don't, when I go to the other end of this cable over there, you don't know which wire this is supposed to be. One's gonna be your A phase and your B phase, and then your neutral. But this does not say on it. Might say some bad words here pretty soon. Well, that sucks, ladies and gentlemen. I don't see some designator on here. Probably have to run a light gauge wire that I have to ohm, ohm them or ring them in, I think they call it. I mean, there's not a whole lot different I could have done besides do it well, yeah, I don't even know what I would have done. I was thinking I could have put the ohm meter across them when I had both ends on the reel, but the one end was tucked down inside and the other was wrapped all the way around it, so. That sucks, male body parts. At least the yellow one's easy. Hey, this is your ground. That's so dumb to me that they would phase one K or one cable set and not phase the other. I don't know that I need all that. Goes the right hand or vice versa. Yeah, I hate those people. I bet you're sweet ass. If I gotta do something important, I'm using all righty. Come on, make a big band. Oh, make a big band. Oh yeah, that'll work nicely. Quite nicely there. need to be torqued down. I don't have the torque spec off the top of my head, but it will be determined by your wire size anyways. So make sure you get a torque wrench on it with the uh, 
proper torque setting. I'll put what our torque is, or Megan will put what our torque is in something right around here, maybe down here, maybe over here. And actually, you got to come back and torque these. I think it's after two years since it's aluminum. I talking to the guy who I work with, who is a master electrician. There's a, a little bit of debate about using aluminum versus copper. It's quite a bit more money to go copper. <clears throat> if you come from the industrial trade like we do, it's probably the only thing you've ever seen is copper wire, because those pieces of equipment are being used, you know, at capacity a majority of its life, if not all of its life. So it makes sense to use a better conductor in that situation. In a home, this panel will probably never even see 200 amps. Um, he was telling me that he had his whole family over one year. TV's going, oven going, water heater, shower and furnace. And he was pulling like, I don't know, 105 or 110 amps. I can't remember the exact number out of a 200 amp panel. So back to what I was saying is the aluminum for the price and the application of a home is a good, or I guess I'm not sure how to put that, but it's better to go with aluminum in the house situation because it's gonna do what you need it to do. They do make these Kevlar gloves that I would recommend. They're not that much money. I think they're 15 bucks or something that you can even get them at Home Depot, I believe. I bought these at the supply house when I bought the cable. But if you have a slip, they definitely protect you. All right, dry fitter, make sure we like it. <sighs> Loose connections cause fires. And that goes, holds true for even your connections in your 110 outlets in your house. If anyone has ever seen a wire that's loose on an outlet, um, I had one in a camper of mine and it almost burned the camper down. Took the outlet out and it was black. Make sure even if you're doing something simple like installing a switch or an outlet in your house, Make sure things are tight. All right, that'll hold us. Get some bolts tomorrow. We'll get the neutral lug in there. Put this back on so I don't lose it. One thing I will say is get you some tool bags. Get you some organization. I am the worst about like grabbing a tool, throwing it down, blaming my wife that she stole it, and finding it the next day, right where I put it. So get a bag, keep your shit together. That's it for tonight. Lights, camera, action. <sighs> we got power here, feed coming in from the panel, landed our two hots on these two lugs. Like I said, this one will be a for a spare if we ever bring three phase in. I doubt we will, but like I said, we got the panel used anyways, so we'll just use, or we're using this. Um, we had to put our neutral isolating lug over here. So neutral comes in from the panel, lands here, isolated from the box, that's what this whole thing's for. Put a bigger ground lug on there that could swallow this number two. And our uh, we'll bring from the house in, land on these two, and, and here and here. And from here, this is like I said, this was direct burial cable. They have a cable called, I think it's like SER or something. It's gray stuff if you've ever seen it in an unfinished basement or a house that's being built. You don't have to run it in conduit, and it's almost like a big Romex 
that can run just within the stud cavity. So Megan's gonna go pick that up Monday, tomorrow, if it comes in. And then we can get the panel inside mounted and hopefully get power by the end of the week. We don't necessarily need an inspection to turn power on since we already have it at the box or the meter but this does need to get inspected so I've already called for an inspection they want to see the cable in the ground I guess so okay Sunday afternoon I'm almost ready to sit on the couch <laughs>